we think about summer gardening, we're often talking about tomatoes and peppers, but I wanted to take a minute to look at another member of the Solanaceae family that also makes a great summer uh, crop to add into your garden. And this is an eggplant. Now, I wanted to highlight this particular plant um, this time of year because this is kind of how the plant got its name, eggplant, because if you look down in here, you can see these lovely white oval shaped uh, fruit. Now, because it is in the Solanaceae family, it's actually considered a berry like tomatoes. And so you can eat this whole um, fruit, both the skin, the flesh and the seeds. And so what we're going to do is just harvest these off by cutting a little bit of the stem. You don't want to twist them or anything like that. Uh, you can see this particular one is called the Japanese white egg eggplant and as the name implies you get these egg like fruits and I always want to let people know to harvest them you can really harvest them anytime immature is okay but you want to harvest them before they start turning brown um, once they start turning brown they're actually kind of declining at that point also, when you harvest them, they don't keep very long in your kitchen, so you want to go ahead and utilize them right away. The other thing is, like an apple, when you cut them, they're going to oxidize really quickly, so you might start seeing them turn brown within about a minute. So go ahead and cut them and then add them into your dish. They work well in stir fries or just on the grill. While eggplants don't add a lot of nutritional value to your meal, they're used culinarily because they absorb so much flavors, like in a stir fry. The other thing I want to mention about this particular plant is that it's a fairly small eggplant. So if you're new to trying eggplant, this is a great one. You won't have these monster fruit to have to figure out how to cook. You have these smaller ones and they also work well in a container. So if you don't have a big vegetable garden, just try putting one in a pot on your patio. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.